All right, we're out here today. I've got our exterior repaint we're gonna be working on. And I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks how to you know, increase the value of your home by $50,000 right here in Boise, Idaho, the Treasure Valley. We got a home right here. You know, this is about a 2,200 square foot you know, home. And there's some things that you can do on this home to increase the value of this home significantly. I'm gonna walk you around um, what we're gonna do in the prepping process, the painting process. We started it out, we started out yesterday by pressure washing it. It took me a couple hours pressure washing it. We noticed some things with this house that we can do to improve the house. I'm going to walk you around, give you some tips and tricks of what we would um, what we would do in the prepping process to get it ready to paint and some other little um, things we would do like some lights and screens that are going to increase the value of this home significantly. So this is a house that I painted probably about 12 years ago here in Boise, Idaho, the Treasure Valley. The um, Even if you're using a lifetime warranty paint, Paint. the paint is going to last about nine to 12 years before you need to repaint it. It's extremely faded on the front side, not so bad on the back side. One of the great things about me painting this home 12 years ago, I did a significant amount of caulking and prep work on it and all that stuff is still good. So I'm not going to have to do a lot of caulking or a lot of prep work because we did paint this house, you know, with a lifetime warranty caulking and a lifetime warranty paint. We did a lot of caulking, a lot of aesthetic caulking, and it's still with hold there's a few things that we do got to recock but we're just going to walk you around and give you some ideas how you can improve all your home and improve the the value of your home significantly just by repainting it and doing some upgrades so we're going to walk around i'm going to pinpoint some things that i'm going to be doing here so i've got um we'll start on this front side corner of this house and um, I'm gonna show you over here, there's some significant water damage on the house right here. And this water damage right here was caused by some sprinklers hitting this. So we're gonna pull, uh, we got a little belly band right here and some corner boards. We're gonna pull all this stuff off. We're gonna redo that. You know, there's probably about a hundred dollars in uh, materials right there to repair that i'm going to be looking around any type of caulking any type of priming all still in pretty good shape it's um just faded we do got some caulking on some sides of the windows i'm going to be doing here we'll continue to walk around you look at the house um Everything looks good here. Uh, we've got a big hornet's nest we missed right there, pressure washing. You don't typically wanna miss stuff like that because if the customer walks a house and they think you pressure washed it but you didn't knock down some hornets, they're gonna wonder why or if you did pressure wash it. All the caulking here, everything looks good. You know, around here, we do got some cracks on some windows right here. We're gonna wanna um, caulk that. Continue to look around. There is um, some paint um, from previous painters that's on the face of these windows. We're going to want to get that off and make that look nice, clean, and neat. Um, I'm walking through the entryway. I've got some fascia up here that's got a little bit of um, water damage to that. We're going to want to caulk that right there um, and get that all tidied up. The entryway is 100% caulked. I usually caulk um, the 100% of the entryway, that's all caulked and there's nothing cracked. This looks really good. This all um, held up. Maybe a few little um, blister spots. These blistering um, exposed spots like this, we're gonna want to use a product called Triple Thick um, Peel Bond Primer on the blistering. It's gonna seal that blistering. Um, here's like a little blister spot right here, very small. Some cracks up here, all looks good. Um, we do have um, some batting on some soffits. Got a little crack right there. We're gonna wanna caulk that. I'm kinda looking at all that stuff. It's minor. There's a few spots on the um, garage door. This is actually wood. One thing that a lot of people probably don't know and understand the siding. This is not wood siding. This is a composite material. It's really what I call just glorified cardboard. Um, it's ground up. It's um, some glues and primers are added to it. It's got like a paper material over it. So it looks like wood, but it is not actually wood. Um, so we kind of, we, we, 
we don't treat it like wood when we're painting it, but this right here is actually redwood. We got a few nicks and dings from um, um, vehicles going in the garage. We'll grind these down to smooth them out, blend them in. We're gonna be using a, a paint eater. I really like a paint eater for something like that. Um, I got, we got a few little blister spots, a spot where a flag thing was removed right there. We'll prime over that. Got a little crack up there. This is one thing um, when it comes to improving the valve of your home that is kind of significant. Update your lights. These lights got um, their sensors on them or oxidized, broken. The sensors probably don't even work anymore. It's a very simple thing to replace to make your home look update, updated and new again. And it's a very small um, fee. One thing we're gonna be doing on this house that's um, kind of cool is brick. All this brick is really outdated and um, just doesn't you know look up to date anymore we're gonna be whitewashing this brick make it all um, look really cool the house is gonna be painted uh, a bunch of uh, or not a bunch but several grays and whites so we're really gonna update this brick and make it look cool there's another thing you can do right here weather stripping these weather strippings can be replaced right here we're gonna want to fix this we don't want to leave something like this you know damaged when we're all done with that this is gonna improve improve the value of your home, improve the aesthetics of it, especially this is one of the things most people see when they're um, pulling up to the home. So everything looks good over here, um, up top, vents all look good, caulking looks good. Um, other garage door, we got weather stripping issues, a few little cracks um, here, some more uh, nicks and dings down there. We'll be using a paint eater to take care of that right there. So we do have the side of the house right here. We've got the sprinklers. We have, um, you know, we got grass right here and these sprinkler systems are hitting the house right here, damaging that. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna uh, pull this off. We'll just cut it right here and replace that. They still make this siding. That's gonna be an easy fix, about you know, $100 in materials right there. A good suggestion to the customer is to right here, just eliminate um, the grass going forward right here so you don't get your sprinklers hitting that to water this grass and just make that rock. And that'll look nice and um, then it'll protect your house. Um, we pulled off you know, the corner board right there. We're gonna re uh, replace and we're gonna re replace that siding. Just moving right along here we've got um we've got windows around this house we've got um getting beat by the sun oxidized screens very simple easy fix about 20 to 25 dollars per screen we've got a mobile screen company that will come out and rescreen these we also have a hardware store um, that we take them to drop them off and they'll rescreen them for like about ten dollars less very simple thing that you can do to um, increase the value and the aesthetics to your home we do have some caulking around some windows right here. Just a few little spots that need to be primed. Um, a new, um, looks like maybe electrical or um, TV box or cable TV was put on. We like to paint these so they blend into the house so they don't stand out very well. Um, moving right along here, all this looks good. Um, vents are caulked, everything looks good up there. Do you have a few little cracks right there? We'll be re caulking. We're on the back side of the house right here. Um, dog door doesn't blend in. We'll paint that to blend in. Um, those lights don't look bad. You can actually, for a, um, like $50 for a light, you can get a floodlight up there that looks a lot more modern, up to date. Here we got some old doorknobs that are kind of um, old, out of date. Very simple and easy. Just a couple screws, four screws that replace that doorknob and that, that'll that significantly increase the value of your house just by adding updated doorknobs. This door is going to look a lot better. We're going to sand out some of these paint runs. Um, we'll fix some of these dents with Bondo and that door will look a lot nicer. We do got a little bit of water damage down here. We'll be grinding out and um, sanding. All this looks really good. This is shaded by a tree, so it helps protect it. A little bit of priming down there. Here's another window screen that would real benefit to being replaced. Uh, some cracks around some windows, and there is some paint on the face of these white vinyl windows that we'll want to correct and try to make that look nice. Here's a hose reel. Very simple and easy to do. When we remove this hose reel to paint this house to make it look fresh and clean. Um, we can take Rust-Oleum Industrial Enamel and either paint this white or black. We'll probably paint it white and um, 
and that will look nice, fresh, clean, up to date. We do have, um, this is probably might be related to water damage or some settling, but we do got some big cracks right here. We're going to caulk um, some priming right here, caulking a little bit, not a whole lot back here. Um, so it's really nice to know, you know, I painted this thing, did a lot of prep work on it, and there's not a lot of prep work to do on it. Corner boards down here, a little bit swollen. And once again, this is, um, a lot of people probably don't understand this is not wood if it gets wet down here on these corners this is probably related to downspouts spilling down here these things are swollen if the customer doesn't like that swollen look to it you can't do anything about it other than replace it and uh, most customers are fine with the look a downspout's mounted over the top of that you know, once I'm done, you can see where the downspout wasn't painted behind there before, which is not good practice. It's always good practice to remove them and then, um, you know, paint behind them and paint behind the downspouts. We do um, got gutters up here. We're going to be painting the gutters. We always paint our gutters. Um, if they've never been painted before, we put a primer on them, a bonding primer first, and then paint those gutters. But they've been painted so we can go right over the top of them with our lifetime warranty paint. We got some screens back here, a little bit oxidized. Um, definitely want to um, take care of that. We do got windows right here with previous red paint all over them. It's really good to correct that and not um, let that look like that. You can actually paint the face of this vinyl, make that look new again, and then retrim out the window. Another hose reel holder we'll paint right here, make that look fresh and clean, or just suggest to the customer that they um, buy new ones. And that will just you know, help the look of the house um, um, and make it look more modern, up to date. We do got some, there used to be a pond right here, water damage, um, we're gonna want to prime underneath this, get this some of this peeling paint off right here. And, um, really take care of that deal with that we're going to prime that with triple thick uh, bonding primer just cruising right along here we've got um back side of the house looks really good neat and clean i don't think the the doors were painted last time um red doors customer definitely doesn't want um these maroon red doors anymore so we'll be repainting those doors we're not going to be doing um this awning we're just doing um the house so this wood awning you know, probably could be power washed and stained. We won't be dealing with that this time. Um, we got some caulking issues right here. We'll be redoing the caulking here. All this looks good. Windows, screens back here are shaded, so they're in good shape. Um, this all looks good. Um, and then we're back to the opposite side of the house. All that um, this looks good. A little bit of swelling down here on a corner board. That's all good. So that's, you know, kind of some of the things that we'd be doing, you know, on a house to help increase the value of this house, especially, you know, if you're wanting to refinance your home or if you're wanting to sell it and get more money out of your home, simple things that you can do painting. There is a shed over here. We're going to be painting the shed to match the house. So kind of the same thing applies to that shed. We treat the shed just like the house. We do the same type of prep work, same type of painting. Uh, the painting we do we typically use a lifetime warranty paint typically use a lifetime warranty caulking on this and in this hot dry climate up here those paints withstand um, you know the heat a lot better than other paints so one uh, unique thing about this house that we're going to be doing typically I use lifetime warranty paints lifetime warranty caulkings on this house we're going to be using an upcycled paint so this is a paint that typically would end up in the landfill we've got a landfill right here it's amazing millions of gallons of paint end up in the landfills every year and um, montage paint is a, a recycled upcycled paint that is saved from the landfill they recycle it they strain it and then test it and then add um add uh products to the paint like titanium and um and more resins and stuff to make the paint even better than it was you know previously before tested and then it becomes an upcycled paint i really like the paint it's great paint brushes rolls um and sprays very well and it is keeping paint from the landfill so we're going to be using a significant amount of paint on this house we're going to be doing the brick we're going to be whitewashing the brick with the upcycled montage paint and then painting the house with it so 
you're going to get a look at that the paint um the price of the paint upcycled paint you're going to be paying around 20 dollars a gallon and that's um, a savings about 50 dollars a gallon so if you want to increase the value of your home but save money on paint you literally can save yourself you know a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars in the cost of paint on your home by using montage upcycled paint so there it goes we're going to get going with the prepping process i'll show you what it looks like to do some of this caulking to do some of this prep work now